Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Calm Little Buddy, and I'm bringing you a video trying to show you how to start off a sun run. Now, what I've done is I found a seed, and I'm going to go through this seed with you and show you some of the locations of the spells, the wands, and the items that will help you to get your sun run off the ground nice and easy. Now, you see we start with a spark bolt and with a bomb. Sometimes you start with a spitter in this seed. I'm not exactly sure why, but let's go through this a little bit. I'm going to wander around, show you some things and talk as I go and put a few items up on the screen. First of all, let's tell you the seed. It is 37770703. And why is this a great seed? Well, the first reason is that we have a firestone to the left of us here. You see that little sparkly there? There's a firestone there. The next reason is because of the perks. Look at the first four holy mountains there. You are going to get four out of the five immunity perks in the first four mountains. Then you're going to get a stainless armor in the next one. And then to top that off, there's Tinker with Wands everywhere in the almost second to last one you're going to have it there so you're going to have almost everything that you need out of the first six holy mountains it's just an amazing seed to be able to do this from again that seed is three seven 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 zero seven one oh three now some of the other things that the seed has is it has everything that you need to get to the parallel worlds because you're going to need to go to the parallel worlds to break the perk machines that's the first thing you're going to do is to break the roll machines for the perks so what and the other thing too by the way look at the scene we do have an easy lively concoction all you really need to do is find the uh polymorphine there and if you can find the polymorphine combine it with some snow and blood you can make lively concoction that's another super easy thing and also up on that screen you did see uh, the ability there to make the alchemical precursor as well all that real super easy i oh, love when those fire mages fall right into the water so perfect anyway let's go get that fire stone up the top while i talk because that's what i like to do i like to keep talking anyway so in this seed there are ways that you can get through the cursed rock uh, if we come over here there's a little wand that we want to pick up over in this area this is to the right and a little bit lower than the entrance just a bit down there's a chest here grab this it gives you a little extra firepower now let me just say something about the wands first of all the wands in the beginning of the run are terrible there's not a lot as far as like shooting goes as far as offense goes uh let's go take a look but we do have everything else that we need we have black holes we have uh ambrosia that we're gonna find all right so let's go here the first time we're gonna have to re-roll once so make sure that you do the re-roll machine one time there you go and there's a fire immunity there grab that and of course we're gonna want this triplicate bolt here for digging purposes so grab that that also does some decent damage helps us get through the first early levels and off we go now we don't need that heart right now you're going to want to make sure that you save some of these hearts for later speaking of hearts that's a heart right here all right make sure that you grab some gold we're going to want to have about 600 gold by the time we leave here this wand is to the right and down a little bit it's not necessary to pick up this wand, but it does have a lot of bombs, which is good for getting extra gold. Plus, it has a damage up. And over here, right near here, you're going to have your ambrosia. Be very careful. If you do end up breaking it, you can clip off the side of this, drain some of the water, and then use an empty bottle to get that ambrosia out. You can always drain that water out or use your sunstone to evaporate some of the water at the top. So if you do break that ambrosia, don't sweat it. You should have an extra vial somewhere to fix it. All right, so let's move on. After you've got your money from the coal mines, there's not much in the coal pits, by the way. There's a few ones that are in there. You don't have to worry too much. But in here's the important stuff. There's an accelerate uh, shot, which is super important with your... Oh, there is our explosion immunity, which is super important with your black holes so that we can get through the cursed rock. Now, there's not much here in the second holy mountain to get. You're going to notice... I kind of jump around from a couple different runs here because, uh, <laughs> first of all, I lost all the footage. Second of all, I lost my save file. Notice my crown is gone now. Uh, yeah, my crown and my necklace. Wonderful. All right, so go to the left here in uh, the Snowy Caverns. And there's a very important one that we're going to need here. It's going to be your Telly Wand. You see this first wand here? This one right here? This one? See it? This is not it. I passed that one. That one's pretty terrible. Grab this one. This is your telly wand, and you're going to be using that as you go along. You can see we all have, we have a couple other ones already built because we had to come back to get this telly wand. I had forgotten it on uh, the run that I was doing this on. Anyway, we'll go through and show you where the black holes are and all that other stuff. You notice our black hole one there, uh, and I'll explain it later. 
it's half built. We're just storing some spells in there, so don't freak out too much. But that's our telly. Believe it or not, the telly wand in and of itself works pretty well as is. But if you want something that's a little bit easier to control, or if you want something a little bit steady mana control in it, because this one does not have great mana regeneration, there's one right over here that you can pick up. That goes very well with it. All right, so now we have teleport. We have two of our immunities. And as we come upon the next area, we can just kind of, I think we just, yeah, we manipulate this wand a little bit. Oh, there's Ding Bolt here. Ding Bolt might be useful too if you want to try to get through snowy caverns because the, the caverns are pretty, pretty rough. This will help you to get through real quick if you want to do that. But what I'm doing here is because I do have the, uh, the later on perk of Tinker with Wands everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and just move some of this now it's important to have some non-shuffle wands here especially for your black hole and for your telly you don't want all shuffle wands you can have a few shuffle wands in the beginning for your digging and stuff like that in fact we'll get to that in one moment um, you can have that for your digging and it will help you get through uh, so make sure that you do grab a couple of these no shuffle wands and hang on to them because there's not as many. There's also a bunch of other wonderful wands in the snowy caverns this time, believe it or not. So feel free to go back and explore the snowy caverns. There's a lot of stuff there. There's also another ambrosia there. You won't need two ambrosias though. Here we see our black hole with timer. Very important. Watch out when you're in this holy mountain. There is a teleporter guy below that is teleporting enemies up into the holy mountain. Grab your melee immunity. And guess what? Now you're already all set for the jungle. You have fire, explosion, and melee immunity. So when you get to the jungle, you're going to be protected from half the stuff that's going to want to kill you. Grab your digging one there. Your uh, Lumi with a timer. Grab also your black hole with timer. You also have an uh, acid, circle acid, which is super, super important. And you're going to be able to get that. And uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is down in uh, Heasy Base. Heasy Base here is one of our big important parts of our damage one. We can see that that one with all those um, double spark bolt with timer. Or spark bolt with double timer, I should say. Exploding spark bolt double timer. There's also a drill down here if you want to get your drill on and get yourself a little bit of extra gold and then there's a healing wand that's a little further down here if we can just get to it a few other things i do want to point out about this seed is that this seed does not require you to defeat the alchemist in any way it's important to know that that's you don't need to kill the alchemist you can get through the rock uh, the cursed rock without killing the alchemist and i'll show you how to do that in a little bit so you don't need any greek spells at all to start this run with you can of course get them later once you get super powered up after you break the reroll machines but in the beginning you know you're not going to need that at all in fact what i will recommend is that if you do not if you've not killed the alchemist yet that you wait until you have gotten halfway through this run and or more yeah halfway through the run and before you start on the actual sun quest itself once you're done with the prep that you go ahead and you kill the alchemist using all the perks that you're going to get through here all right so at this point you'll have your digging you have a pretty good wand to dig with or you should at least you should have that looming with timer and then any of the ones that you've picked up from snowy caverns should do it usually they're going to be like i said they're not going to be our favorite ones in and of themselves they will be uh not uh they'll be non-shuffle ones or they will be shuffle ones excuse me but they'll be fast fast and have enough mana the other thing too is you're going to notice that yes i do have spell labs on don't hate me because i'm beautiful the reason i have spell labs on is because of the amount of times i failed in trying to make this video not due to failing the quest but due to glitches like losing my save file losing all my footage so at a certain point i get fed up and i just say you know what I don't want to be I don't want to die. I just want to go and show you guys the spaces where all this stuff is. So I put spell labs on and put on no deaths. I did not make any of these wands and spell labs, just so you know. These were all wands that I found and were able to construct using the things that were in the run itself. So the spell labs is literally there just to keep me from dying so that I can find this stuff quicker so I can show it to you. All right, so you see that beautiful red wand there or orange wand? That is the one that we want. The great thing about that wand is that not only does it have a bunch of healing bolts on it, but it's actually you can use it right out the gate to heal yourself a little bit. In fact, that's what we do because we're down to five here. And of course, I want to try to recreate this as realistically as possible. So I'm trying not to die. I'm trying not to get to that that one health point left. 
I want to make this as real as possible. I don't want it to be like, oh, hey, well, yeah, anybody can do a sun run if they just put spell labs on. And that's not what this is about. This is about getting yourself situated in a run that will actually work. So here it is. And you can see that it has that formational uh, bolt and it has the uh, the spell repeater on it there. Uh, that is actually might be important for your black holes later on if you want it. Chain spell, excuse me, chain spell. So let's go ahead and grab this. And I'll show you that this thing can actually fire off the way that it's set up right now. Now, remember, you already have these immunities and stuff. So you're going to be immune to fire and explosion. A lot of these things right off the bat, you're still immune to anyway. I'll show you in a second. We'll, we'll fire this sucker off. We can fire it as is and heal ourselves most of the way. Here, go ahead and shoot it. Come on, Calm. You can do it. You can do it. Just, just shoot the wand. Here, watch. There you go. See? Shoots in all directions. You're guaranteed to heal yourself a little bit. Yes, it's wasteful, but that's okay because you will be getting... Uh, the refresher earlier or later, excuse me, that will go ahead and give you all of those charges back again. So don't worry about it. Grab yourself a health. All right. And the next one, we can see there's another healing bolt. There's another damage up. There's a few other useful items there as well. And here is your electricity immunity, your electric immunity. Wonderful. You now have four of the five toxic you can grab later. Toxic is not super, super important. All right. And so the next thing we do is we're going to go down to the jungle. Now, of course, jungle as always, is just a treasure trove of wonderful wands and items that you can get. This is no exception. I don't spend a lot of time in any of these biomes. I'm just going through and getting the perks to show you. But once you get nice and, and safe and healthy, you can go ahead and set up any way that you want and re-explore these biomes to find extra things if you need them. Extra wands, extra spells. There's lots of good stuff around. I will tell you that, unfortunately, the... The, uh, the teleport room that has the, the free spells in it is not that great. And the snowy wands room is not that great either. But I do end up going to the snowy wands room because I do need at least one of the wands there. Is going to be pretty useful as far as its stats go for casting what I wanted to cast for the black hole. Uh, your, your choice may vary. You may find a, a wand that you find better for it. All right. So after jungle... We go into our next holy mountain, and this is where we should be able to get our stainless armor after one reroll. So, and also these wands have a lot of good stuff in them. It's that uh, fourth wand in the 695 wand that we're gonna want. Okay, you gotta do the reroll, and that will get you to your stainless armor, which is very important. One stainless armor is good to have to start off with, even though we're gonna start out having some stains. It's not that big of a deal. This one is important. This has our black hole. This also has our acceleration. This also has a damage up. This also has a plasma cutter, a green plasma cutter to get us in and out. And it also has a spark bolt with timer. So it has a lot of stuff that's very useful for our runs. So I do recommend picking up this one and just grabbing all the stuff out of it. It's one of the more important ones here, especially, like I said, for that uh, that accelerate shot and uh, the damage ups. You end up with, I think it's four or five damage ups in this in this run early. All right, and then, of course, you can go through the vault. I don't go through the entire vault here because what a pain this place is. I mean, this place is just chock full of enemies. But again, if you can survive this relatively well once you're built up and you want to tool around for a little bit, See what's available. Again, this place is usually loaded with different kinds of wands that you can pick up. So our main purpose here is to get through. In fact, our main purpose in all these biomes is just to get through and get the perks. So at the next ones we see, we have another black hole. If you do have the gold to get it, you can go back and get it. We don't need it. We get three without it. All right, there's our tinker with wands everywhere. Now you're completely set up. So you have everything that you need to break the reroll machines. All you've got to do is get yourself to the next area. So if we go to this snowy cavern here with the wands here, and if you don't know where this is, I have a video on how to find it. You can go check and see. It is one of the hidden areas videos. All right, this is the wand. You want an accelerate shot, the uh, chain spell, the black hole with timer, and then black hole, black hole. If you set it up correctly, and when I had it set up initially, I'll show you how it works. We'll, we'll do a fire, a test shot here. And it worked really well. And then it worked a lot less well once I once I messed around with it later. So even with the less great configuration, we still were able to get through to the uh, past the cursed rock and onto the parallel world just to show you it's possible. See how far this thing shoots. Another great thing is look at these little dips that it makes. These are perfect for splashing ambrosia on yourself. You have these little 
connected little pockets here and the ambrosia just sits in there and you can just sit and get nice and ambrosia juicy look how huge uh excuse me how long these shots are look how far that thing went it went all the way out into the next biome it's absolutely amazing but even when it doesn't work to perfection, even when I guess for some reason my chain spell wasn't working as well or, or my timer wasn't working as well, something doesn't work when I do it for real in the next shot that you're going to see. Even when it doesn't work that well, it's good enough that two shots will get you through the cursed rock. Now, you're going to want to have great digging to dig yourself to that point. But once you're at the cursed rock, check this out. You just pop off one of these black holes and zoom. It goes right through. Now you step forward a little bit and you put on a little bit of ambrosia. And we'll show you in a second too, you don't even need the ambrosia. I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't need the ambrosia to do this trick. If you can carve your way through this pretty pretty fast, you only need a little splash of ambrosia. So here's what you're gonna do. You put your ambrosia on. I like to get it up around 60 just to be safe, but you don't even have to do that. But look, even just little tiny splashes just above your head is gonna get you enough. You fire yourself across and once you get to the point where the black hole ran out, see this for some reason, these ran out quicker the second time. Yours should just fire straight through like it did on my initial shot though, if you set it up correctly. All right, fires right through and then we just kind of continue on. Blappity blap, blap, blap. And we are already at the end, there you go. Now, just to show you that you can do this without the ambrosia, let me bring us back and I will do the jump across even without the ambrosia. So if you have a black hole wand that sh shoots far enough and shoots straight enough, you can literally just teleport. I have like a tiny splash of ambrosia on, but <clears throat> look at that. You can get through, I, I have like 90, 90 health to start with, maybe even less. I think it's like 60 health to start with. We get straight across. Anyway, so what's the point of this video? Exactly what I said in the beginning. This is a wonderful seed to start on that's going to give you five, uh, four out of the five immunities. It's also going to give you stainless armor. There's also ambrosia. There's a way to get through the cursed rock to get to your parallel worlds. There's a teleport wand. There's also, um, you know, plenty of plenty of available assets that can make you a powerful kill wand. But you don't have to kill Colmy right yet. And you don't have to kill the alchemist at all. There's no alchemist kill necessary in this run. There's this is all you need. This is it. Now you can go and break the reroll machines. If you do not know how to break the reroll machines, Take a look at the video that I will put up at the end of this video, and that will show you how to do it. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you can use this seed to start off your sun run and get yourself well on the way to completing that sun run fast and easy in the beginning. So you have less worry instead of searching for seed. Here you have one with all the locations of everything that you could possibly need. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, YouTube, you are up.